<laughs> Anybody see what this wallpaper is? If you know what this wallpaper is, leave a comment and I will Venmo you 12 cents. I will Venmo, I will actually Venmo you 12 cents if you can comment who this person is. Thank you. All right. Oh my. No, no. You have food though. You're looking, you look like a teacher. I look like a teacher. A teacher. Oh, yes, I should. Yes. I should look like a teacher. I was. So naturally, I should look like a teacher. Mm hmm. You have yeah. food though. Let me put off that light and come. Okay. My grandmother is happy that I ate my food she made for me. She made chicken biryani, very good food, delicious food. Still not a fan of killing chickens, but if my grandma made it, she already killed them. And that sucks, Daddy I know, told me but... Next time you must wear a sari. A sari? Lali told me, next time you must wear a sari. I like that better than a sari. Hmm. <sighs> What is this? What is what is what you're wearing called? What is? What is this dress called? This isn't a sorry. Blouse. This is a blouse. Hmm. Okay. Long sleeve blouse. Long sleeve blouse. A long okay. sleeve blouse. You want this uh, chair over here? Oh, this oh, chair? Because that will come in the way. Yes. This chair can come in the way. Where well, silly me? I forgot to move the useless yes. chairs out of the view. And this plastic needs to go into the dump to drown some sea turtles. Great. Thanks, Lee. I contributed to dead sea creatures. Hello. How are you doing, Grandma? Oh, wow. Love your glasses. Okay. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. Okay. <sighs> You also coming in it, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, good. Let me move this out the way real quick so we can both see. Oh, oh. I almost knocked the table over. That would be very bad. Okay. You prepared you, something today. Uh, have you heard of the two lovers, Daisy and Michael? I have not, Grandma. I have not heard of Daisy and Michael, no. Yes, it's worth it. That's worth it. You must hear it. Because you're not married. And maybe, you know, you can also meet in the same situation. Who knows? Uh, no, yes. Yes. I so, might be married. <laughs> so you better be ready for it. Ready for it, okay? Uh, ah. Oh my okay. goodness. <clears throat> It's a song. <laughs> it's a song? It's a song. Uh, Michael is asking Daisy to I... say, I do. Okay. But at the same time, he doesn't even own a car or a carriage or anything. Oh, he's so poor. He's very poor. A pauper. <laughs> he's very poor. How can you be married to a woman if you're poor? Yes. But anyway, he wants to marry because he is so crazy of loving her, you know? Okay. Mm. <coughs> Gotta make so that money, though. Song. One of my co-teachers, you know, she sang this. She's a go uh, an Anglo-Indian lady. Anglo-Indians have got all these kind of songs. You oh, know? okay, okay. So she sang it. I liked it very much. Wait, you're not Anglo-Indian? Indians only. Anglo-Indians. Aren't you Anglo-Indian? No, 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 no. What is an Anglo-Indian? An Anglo-Indian means, you know, they are a mixed breed. Oh. The Anglo and the Indian. Oh, so half white, half Indian? Ah, yeah. Many of them are white. Sounds like a disaster. Many of them are white. And many people like them. Oh, okay. Indians like them because they are white. Oh, that, yeah, tell me about and it. And not only that, Indians. Mm-hmm. These Anglo-Indians all, you know, they were... 
preferred by the Britishers. Yes. And they were mostly working in the railways. Most of them were in the railways. Doing well. One of your relatives used to work in the railways, yes? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> Today my throat is not in very good shape. You should drink that tea. Anyway, I will sing. You know, <laughs> okay. Sing. I'll sing, no problem. Sing, sing. It's a little hilarious. Okay. Okay. Daisy, Daisy. Give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, cause I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet on, on the, but you look sweet. Upon the seat of a bicycle meant for two. Hmm. Is that it? You can correct it now. You can sing it again if you want. Again I will sing. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, mm-hmm. I got stuck in between. Yes. <coughs> okay. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, cause I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle meant for two. Beautiful voice. Now Daisy is going to reply. Okay. Oh, it's not over? Daisy is going to reply now. Okay. To Michael. Michael, Michael, here is my answer true. I'm not crazy. All for the love likes of you. If you can't afford a carriage, then call off the blinking marriage. Oh my goodness. Or I'll be jammed and I'll be crammed on a bicycle meant for two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not a bad one. Not a bad. You sang it very well. Yes. Yes. Yeah, not a bad one. Anyway. But Daisy only wants money. Well, Daisy must have been an Anglo Indian girl. <laughs> She must have been an Anglo Indian. Yes. Right? And Michael also must have been Anglo Indian. Okay. In India, Anglo Indians go for dating and all those things. Oh, fall yes. In love. We just do arranged marriages. Yes, fall in love, fall in love very easily. Yes, Anglos. yes. Yes. Other Indians and all, long time ago, they didn't fall in love like that. No. They were strictly brought up and they had no chance for dating or yes. anything like they that. They saw it as rubbish. Yes. Yes, yes. So it was like that, you know. So if, yes. if people are so close by mm-hmm. and wanting to get married and crazy in love, mm-hmm. naturally they must be Anglo Indians. Yes, but they must have money too. They must yeah. afford a carriage. Without money, how can you marry? <laughs> yes, yes. That was Michael's uh, too much of an expectation. Yes, Michael needs. Money. Well, shouldn't have gone with that. And that you want a cycle? Bicycle? Mm. Ridiculous. Get married. Ridiculous. Bicycle. But he had the guts to ask her. Yes. Oh. And then he got humiliated. Because he's crazy after he's her. Cr- That's the thing. But she's not. No. She needs a rich man. He wants a carriage. Yes. Not a cycle. Okay. She okay. knows her worth. It's a good story. Your teacher sang it to you? Yeah. Anyway, you want anything else also now? What else? I I can talk about anything. Second one. I had one, you know, my my brother singing. (laughs) I don't know where it is. Let me put it up. 
Okay, I'll, I'll put it off. I'll do a little pause. Gonna yes. summon Hector the Editor. Oh, that sounds amazing. Hector the Editor. <sighs> Hector, you're hired. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hector the Editor. Let's do a time skip. A Will Smith time skip. <sighs> yes? Huh. My second brother. That rehearsal and the cake. Oh, how he ate the cake? Yeah. Oh, yes. Rehearsal cake, hello? Do you want it? No, please. Okay. He used to sing very well. All my three brothers are good singers. Mm -hmm. Good singers. He used to sing very well, you know? And when he was a young boy, that's why he was taken in that play also. Mm -hmm. When he was a young boy, he loved to sing one seed song. Seed song? Seed, seed. Like there a pumpkin so seed. seed songs. If you Do put it on the seeds? internet, you will get such a lot of seed songs. The all songs about seeds? Yeah. And okay. this seed song is about two seeds lying side by side. Hmm. In the soil. Hmm. About to germinate. Hmm. About to germinate. So both of them were lying side by side. Mm -hmm. Now it was time for them to germinate. So one seed, brown seed, is talking to another seed. Lying close by. Talking to another seed. Calling him brother and all that kind. Now they're going to be separated. Yes. Both will grow. <coughs> so one brother, my, this brother, my, my brother used to sing the song beautifully. Beauty, I can't sing it so beautifully. Doesn't matter. At this age and with the throat all gone. Anyway, but even then I sing. Little brown brother, oh, little brown brother, are you? Awake in the dark. Here we lie cozily to each other. Hark to the song of the lark. Waken the lark says, Waken and dress you. Put on your green coat so gay. Blue sky will shine on you, sunshine caress you, waken this morning, it's May, month of May. Yes. Little brown brother, oh, little brown brother. What kind of flower will you be? I'll be a poppy, all white like my mother. Do be a poppy like me. Hmm. What? You are a sunflower. Oh, I shall miss you. When you are grown golden and high. But I shall send all the bees up to kiss you. Little brown brother, goodbye. Um, Isn't that a good song? What's it about? About two seeds. Yes, and what are they doing? They are going to germinate. Yes. But they're different color? Maybe same color, brown brother, brown brother okay. is calling. Maybe then. But maybe, you know, like, they didn't know each other, like, they were different. Yes, yes. Yeah, they were different. But anyway, it is a good song. It's good. Oh, nice. My, little, my brother used to sing it so beautifully, you know. Mm. Beautifully. He had a melodious voice also. And he used to sing it very well. Did he sing high or low? Did your brother sing in a high voice or a low voice? At that time, he had a soprano voice because soprano? he was a, a young, small, small boy. boy. Now he sings. Now he sings most of the hymns and all he sings. Yes. Now when he's singing, it's a manly voice. Yes. It's a manly yes. voice. 
voice changes. Even Vivek was like that. Mm-hmm. When he was small, mm-hmm. he was singing in that soprano voice only. But now he sings in a manly baritone voice. Yes. Nice, nice. Not bad. Not bad. Yes. You still sing in that high voice though. Who? You? I used to sing better. You still I, sing well? Uh, no, not now. Now I don't sing. I don't sing in front of others also. But for this it is okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's paused. Why don't you stop it then? You don't want to talk about anything else? Oh, well, yeah, I've got many to talk and all that. Yes. If you want, I can talk. I can sing, I can mm-hmm. talk, whatever. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I just want to. I just want to record this time together for a good amount okay. of time. But can you put it a little bit off now? A little off? Hmm? What for? I want to check up and get something. Do you want to get something all the time? Hmm. Okay, you can get something. Okay, you stop it, then I'll go and get it. <laughs> okay, I'll stop it. Oh. My grandmother's. Mm-hmm. One story about a husband and wife who were married after some time. I think my nose is always, you know, every time. After some time, mm-hmm. the husband became totally deaf. Stone deaf. Couldn't hear a single thing. Is this a story or is this... It's a story. Okay. It's a okay. story. Must have happened also. Who knows? Okay. Husband became very deaf. Then, the father-in-law was sick. Very sick. Mm-hmm. So she said, you know, the wife said, we'll have to go now to see my father because, you know, I don't know whether he will survive. You have to go. But I don't want everybody to know that you are deaf. <laughs> So he said, How, what will we do for that now? How to hide that? How did she tell him if he's a deaf? Yeah, why can't they tell him? But they were feeling bad. Okay. Only married people, they didn't want to show off yeah, like that. Okay. Then ultimately what happened? They went. Yes. But the wife said, I have got a plan. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. We will prepare something. First, you go to his room. He'll be lying on the cot. You just ask him, Oh, Dad, how are you now today? So he might say, I'm not feeling too well at all. No, she she told him. He might say, Uh, I'm okay, I'm a little better. Mm -hmm. We normally say like that. eh? Then you must reply, Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. (laughs) Okay. The second question. Who is uh, is treating you now? So he'll say the doctor's name. Yes. Then you must say, oh, he is the best doctor. Don't worry about it. He Mm -hmm. will do the needful. You will be all right. Don't worry. Then the third question. What medicine are you taking now? Then naturally he will tell some medicine. Yes. Then you must say, oh, that is the right medicine for this disease. You will get all right in no time. Okay. So they prepared these three, three questions, questions yes. and the answers expected. Yes, yes. So they went. Mm-hmm. Now so many people had already come, relatives and all those people. Mm-hmm. And they were all talking. This man also was close by. He pretended, you know, as though he was not talking to them. I mean, he is very sorry that his father-in-law is sick and he is sad and after some time the time came he had to go upstairs to see the father-in-law so he slowly climbed up and went over there so then he asked the first question oh dad how are you today Mm -hmm. oh my son 
It's so bad. No, oh, no. I'm not feeling well at all. I think I'm going to die soon. Oh, no. So what was the answer? Already prepared? Good. I'm so, so happy. happy to hear that. Just imagine. Oh, no. Father started rolling his eyes. Got <laughs> very angry. Got very angry. So he was thinking. <laughs> What mistake did I make? Yes. What mistake did I make? Mm -hmm. Then anyway, he had to ask the second question. The second question was, which doctor is treating you? He said, already the father is angry, no? Yes. Oh, I'm treated by the, by Yama, the god of death. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is the best doctor. <laughs> that is the best doctor. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh Just my imagine. goodness. That is the best doctor you can ever think of. Oh, you'll be. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. He said, you know. Mm -hmm. With great confidence that he was talking. With the best. Great yes. confidence. Then, the third question. But he was smelling something that he is mm -hmm. doing some rubbish. Yes. He couldn't do anything. He yeah. Told third, him. third question. What is the medicine that he has given you? Already father in law, you know. So bitter. Yes. He said, medicine. He is giving me the poison. Kalakuda Visha. That means. In their Hindu mythology, there is mm -hmm. a snake with ten heads. Oh, okay. That snake's poison is the worst that we see. Kala Kuda poison. But the best medicine. <laughs> that medicine is giving. Oh, that is the best medicine for you. Don't worry. That is the best medicine. By the time father is lost. <laughs> Complete composure, God. Yes. He decided this son-in-law of mine is wanting me to die, I think. He got up and kicked him off from the staircase. <laughs> rolling down he came. The wife went running. Mm -hmm. And the relatives all. What has happened? Father-in-law has kicked the son-in-law down the staircase. Everybody, son-in-law got hurt also, poor thing. Down the staircase, he mm -hmm. came running down, no? Mm -hmm. Then slowly, slowly, then they were talking to him. And then ultimately, the truth came out that he was stone dead. Yes. Now what to do? Everybody came to know. The whole town came to know. Yes. Not only the relatives. Mm -hmm. Because he was in a bad shape now. People yes. coming and going all seeing the son-in-law with bones broken. <laughs> <laughs> then later on they decided, see, we shouldn't have done with it. <laughs> we should have told the truth. Yes. What is that? Yeah? So ultimately the whole thing smashed off. Poor thing, you know. Don't know when they went back home also. Mm. And the father-in-law did not know he was dead. Yes. So naturally, he didn't do it purposely. Yes. The answers he gave were too bad. Mm -hmm. How could any father-in-law accept it? Yes. Anyway, so that way, we should know that we should always tell the truth. Always tell the truth? <laughs> always tell the truth. Don't try to impersonate like this, you know. That is the story. Moral of the story. Yes, yes. Moral of the story. My, my, uh, mother, uh, my I mean, uh, grandmother used to tell all these stories. All these stories. It was a funny, it was a good story. I liked it. Eh? I liked that one. Yes, yes, every story of hers. Had a good, had a good Every story message. of hers was like that. Yes. So how many stories are there? You told me a lot of stories when I was little. Ah. Yes, I, rem I, I remember a few, not many. Yes, yes. Which one do you remember? Anything? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Which stories did you used to tell? I forgot. Yeah. Anyway, 
she had a lot of fox stories. Fox. Oh, you told me Aesop fables. Yeah, you remember something? Some of the Aesop fables. Yes, actually, her stories were better than the Aesop fables. Oh. You won't even find in Aesop fables. Wow. Like that, her stories were. Oh, okay. Stories were like that. Okay, I'll tell you one story. The fox. And the rabbit. Story. And the rabbit? No. Okay. Foxes are very clever animals, you know. Yes. Very clever animals. During the daytime, we don't find them most. Yes. In night time, after twilight, they will come out. Mm -hmm. They'll come out, try to get anything, anything in the way, living things like birds and small animals and all that. Yes. So once, what happened? A fox and his wife. The female fox is known as the vixen. Okay. You know that, no? Yes, yeah. yes. Vixen. This father fox and mother fox, they went out. Okay. Trying to get as much food as they could. Trying to uh, go into somebody's house and then uh, try to go to their poultry farm and all those things to get the chicks. Mm -hmm. They went on and on and on. By the time it was almost nearing morning. Hmm. Now they have to find some shelter. Right. If somebody sees them, they will beat them up and kill them. Yes, yes. But the mother fox was about to give birth to children. Oh no. Baby. Yes. And her time was up. Mm -hmm. Now what to do? They had to go somewhere to find some shelter. Right. She has to give birth to all the children. Mm -hmm. Babies. Yes. Then they found a den in a rock. Big den. Yes, yes. And no animal was inside. Mm -hmm. It was a lion's den. Oh, no. No animal was inside. Then the father fox said, I think this is a deserted mm -hmm. den. We'll use it now for the time being. Yes. So they went inside and the mother fox gave birth to 10 babies. Ten oh, wow. babies. And then they said, now we'll have to manage here only. Mm -hmm. No other way now. We have to manage here. Yes. For the time being. They cannot carry the babies and then we'll go somewhere else searching for place. 10 of them. Yes. Then... Father Fox was planning what to do now, what to do now, how to manage over here and all. Then from a distance he saw one lion coming. Oh no. He knew this is that lion's den. Mm -hmm. He has to find some way now to escape. Yes, yes. So then he stood at the mouth of the den and he told the wife and the babies to shout and howl and cry. Mm -hmm. They all started off crying, crying at the top of their voices. Oh, I remember this one. Yes. I remember and this. And then the father fox started off. Yes. His lecture. Oh my God. These are forever crying. Voracious eaters. Every time they want to eat, eat, eat. And that too, lion's meat. <laughs> Where can I get lion now to give them as food? Where can I get now? Oh my God. And he had already told them, don't stop crying. Howl and cry. They were all crying, crying, crying. The lion heard the father's speech. Mm -hmm. Got frightened. Mm -hmm. Got frightened. Oh, I'm not going over there. Someone is living in my den. They are all ready to eat me up. Why should I go there? Roundabout turn. He ran away from there. Yes, yes. While he was running at high speed, one monkey saw. One mm -hmm. monkey. So the monkey said, Oh, Lion, the king of the forest, where are you running like this in fear? Oh, don't talk. Somebody is in my den. They are waiting to eat me up. I never went anywhere nearby. Oh, I fled for my life. What rubbish is this? The monkey said. <laughs> you are the king of the jungle. And you are running away out of fear. Then he said, no, but 
Why should I be eaten by those people? Then the monkey said, Okay, I'll come with you. We both will go. We'll find a solution for this. We mm -hmm. both will go. But then the lion said, Supposing they come to eat me up, you will run away, climb one tree and sit over there. And then I'll be eaten up. No, no, my dear. I will be with you. Okay, mm -hmm. if you are not trusting me, we'll tie up our tails together. Oh, okay. So that I'll be always with you. Ultimately, the lion agreed. Okay, then. Okay, then. So they both were going intertwined Into, yes. with the tails. Very happy now. Lion also picked up some courage. While they were going, they were about to reach the den. Mm -hmm. The father fox saw. Again he told the babies and the mother, Howl, howl and cry, howl, top of your voice. By the time the babies and all were having more strength. Yes. Grown a little more. Again at the top of the voice they were crying. Now this one. You have to make another story now. Yes. Oh, I see, monkey. You are coming with one lion. You said you will bring two lions. <laughs> <laughs> and you are bringing only one lion. <laughs> so when the lion heard that, he said, My God, this fellow is duping me. Trying to kill me. Oh, and, <laughs> and instead of bringing two lions, now he is taking me single lion. See, I have heard it with my own voice. I am not going to go with him. He turned and then fled. But the little monkey is dashing, 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 yes. so dashing, yes. dashing, dashing. Yes. This lion was running for his life. Mm -hmm. Naturally, the monkey died. Yes. <laughs> monkey died. Yes. Now the lion decided not to go back. Mm -hmm. Not to go back. Then the lion told these people, his wife and the children, now they won't come. Nobody will come. We are safe over here. Yes. Because the lion has gone. Don't know what has happened to the lion. Must have died also. But anyway, he's scared. He'll never come anywhere near our den. So then they made their den their eternal home forever and out. And the children, babies, mm -hmm. and the mother fox and the father fox made it their own home for their all their lives. See how clever the clever foxes. is that the end? Foxes are very clever. Very clever. Fox, crow, these are very yes. clever animals. Yes. Very clever. Do you know which animal lives the longest? Sea turtles. <laughs> sea turtles. Turtles. Yes. Turtle. You know, one turtle is still living 187 years. Wow. That's long. That's very long. You're going to live longer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then they are saying 187, no, 87 years. They are saying this turtle was living when the America had 37 States. presidents. Oh, presidents. Gone through that. This turtle has lived... Through World War First and World War Second. Wow. Okay, someone's calling. Yeah, maybe Daddy will. Be. I do have a question about that story, though. Ah. So the last story about the deaf man. Ah. You told me the message is to be honest. Honest. To never lie. Yeah. But Grandma, in the fox story, the fox was lying the entire time. So should I tell the truth or should I lie? Nothing much to learn. <laughs> but anyway, you must learn also how clever even animals are. Yes, yes. How clever they are, see? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your favorite yeah. animal? My favorite animal is a dog. A dog? You've had I plenty of dog. dogs. I love dogs. You've had plenty, right? I love dogs. I always had dogs. What was the name of your dog that lived to 15? Yeah, one was 
Cindy, our first dog after my marriage. You know, earlier we had dogs at home also when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. But afterwards, when we make an all small and we were as a family, then one was Cindy and the other was Princey. Princey was the boy. Okay. The male one. Cindy was the female. Cindy mm. and Princey. Nice, nice dogs. Yeah, I still remember. They lived for some time with us, you know, it was good. Which one lived for 15 years? Now, my dog, Spotty, when we were growing, she lived for 17 years. Oh my goodness. Cookie is 13. Ah, she, my dog lived for 17 years. Wow. You won't believe we didn't even have a collar or... A leash put on her. She was so obedient. Such wow. an obedient dog. Such an obedient dog. Her, she, I mean, we really adored her. She saved us from a, a snake. cobra that had come into our house. I think you read that. What yes, I yes. About that cobra. And yes. that is a big story. I'll big story. I'll narrate it some other time. Yes, some yes. Other time. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'll again tell you one lion story. A lion story, okay. A lion story. You know, there was a lion who used to cause such a lot of commotion to the villagers, eat up their cattle and so many things. They got fed up. Mm -hmm. So they kept a trap. A trap. Like a cage. Yes and put one small animal inside it so that when the lion gets inside and tries to eat that animal the shutter will fall he will be trapped inside but that he did not know that the shutter will fall he got inside he saw oh a small lamb like animal he was very happy he got inside <coughs> And then started struggling with that poor animal, his bait. The shutter fell. He couldn't escape now. He knew that the villagers had kept it for him. Now what to do? Now villagers won't come every day to see. It mm -hmm. was kept in somewhere in a, maybe I mean a, a remote place. Then... The lion was thinking now how to get escape from this. Now somebody has to open the shutter. Then only he can escape. Yes. So one Brahman fellow was walking via that way. These Brahmans, you know, they are considered as very holy. High caste. Yeah. But at the same time, sometimes they are very foolish also. Yes. So the Brahman saw and then... The lion pleaded with him, please open this, I mean I will die inside this, please help me. This, to the Brahman, you know, these, they are sometimes, you know, kind hearted. So he opened the door. As soon as the lion came out, he jumped on this Brahman. Yes. He was about to be eaten. Yes, yes. <clears throat> he was pleading with the lion, please don't. Please don't. I helped you. How can you do this to me and all that? He was pleading. Then another fellow was passing by. He was like a sannyasi. Sannyasi means, you know, uh, like a religious person. And uh, <coughs> he was passing by. Mm -hmm. Then this Brahman shouted, please, please come and help me. Please. He came. Hey, what happened? Then the Brahman said, you know, I mean, and, uh, I tried to help him out and he, as soon as I opened it, you know, he came jumping on me now. <coughs> so the sannyasi said, you know, okay, I want the scene to be enacted, not only said. Yes, I want yes. it to be enacted. Tell me right from the beginning how it was. So then, the Brahman said, Okay, the lion was inside this cage, trapped. Oh, I see. Let him go then inside the cage. 
Yes. For the time being. Then he told the lion, you just get inside. Lion got inside. Then the Brahmin said, he was pleading with me to open. Ah, then it was closed. The yes, yes, yes. Closed. He was pleading with me to open this shutter. And he was very hungry because he was trapped for a few days. So I was feeling very sorry for him. And then I thought, okay, then I will open the shutter, let him come out. And I wanted to free him. Yes, yes. Oh, I see. Then the sannyasi, he was telling the sannyasi. Sannyasi said, oh, then you wanted to open it? You were about to open it? Oh, how did I? Yes, I know. What happened? What did you do next? Yes, I went and <laughs> opened. <laughs> oh my goodness. I went and opened the shutter and he was about to open. Yes. He's enacting the scene, no? Yes. He was about to open. Sanyasi said, Oh, Brahman, you are such a foolish <laughs> Now I'm trying to somehow rescue you. You are going to do the same I foolish think... thing. At least this lion is now caught and trapped inside. He cannot come out. If you open it, <laughs> he will come out and eat both of us. Yes. How is it that you don't have any brains? Yes, yes. You must use your brains. So he said, yes, Sanyasi, you are correct. I was going to really open it. We both would have eaten anyway. Sanyasi said, come away. Come away from the scene. We have to escape from here now. Let the lion be inside. Let him be eaten up. He deserves that. Yes. Let the villagers come and eat him up. He deserves that. That's all what we can do for him. He has got mm -hmm. it back now. Let it be. We'll go. They both went away. Mm -hmm. So... This is also another story to say that we shouldn't be foolish. No, no. We shouldn't be foolish. He was a foolish man. Yes. Not even realizing. Second time, time also. Second time, yes. Brahmins. No. Brahmin. Weren't you the Brahmin caste? <laughs> Weren't it, wasn't your family the Brahmins? Yes. <laughs> Namuridis. Namuridis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, thank God, thank God mm -hmm. that... Brahman somehow was saved. Yes. Was saved. Yeah. Okay then. Okay. So that is that story. Good. That's enough. I think. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Yeah. But you have to do one thing. Yeah. You have to do one thing. Yeah. What do you have to do? Yeah. What do you have to do? I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> Subscribe. <coughs> have you heard it? Subscribe. Second time I'm telling. Subscribe. Third time. Subscribe to what? For this video. Yes. Yes. This video. Subscribe. After all, I'm an 87 year old. Come on. Man. You have to subscribe to the 87 year old. I can't say you that. You must realize that. Even yes. then, I had the guts to sit over here. And narrate the whole thing. Subscribe. She prepared for this. You prepared for this. Yes. I you didn't wrote? prepare. You didn't prepare? No. No. I didn't but prepare. you look you look well. You look nice. Only I I, I mean change my clothes. Yes, yes. The last one I was looking like a witch. Oh okay, that won't happen again. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell them again to subscribe. Okay. Tell them again one more time. Tell them one more time. Subscribe. Again. Yes. Subscribe! Am I shouting too much? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there may be some deaf people also. <laughs> Let them hear. Subscribe!